Hello and welcome. My name is Anita from Best Technology Forensics and today I'd like to introduce you to our Forensic VMD 560 system. But let's talk about VMD first. So what is VMD? VMD stands for Vacuum Metal Deposition, which is the process of evaporating and depositing thin layer of metals onto surfaces to visualize latent finger marks. This method can be used on non-porous, semi-porous and even porous exhibits. So here you can see the 560 system behind me. It has a large viewing window so the operator can freely see the item that is suspended onto the evidence holder. The evidence holder itself is retractable, which I will show you later. The uh, evaporation sources are centralized to make sure that the development of the metals are uniform throughout the chamber. So let's have a look inside. By opening the door, we can have access to the chamber. The evidence holder can be pulled out, secured into position, and draped. So as you can see, we have a piece of fabric already secured to our evidence holder and right next to it there is a positive control uh, that is needed to make sure that our process works as it should. So what I'm going to do next is flip back the evidence holder and push it back into the chamber, close the door and come over to our screen. So our screen is an icon-based touch screen, very easy to use. And to start our process, all we have to do is press the process with button, which is this one here. That changes the screen into the gauging screen, and this represents the vacuum level within the chamber. The green line started to appear to the right hand side. Basically more green lines you see on the screen, the higher the vacuum level within the chamber. So we let the system uh, remove the air now and we will return when it's ready for process. As you can see, the screen changed to the sources screen and it currently shows the three sources that are in the chamber. Number one represents the gold source, number two is the zinc and number three are for alternative metals, for example silver or sterling silver. So today we are going to use the gold zinc method. Uh, there are two ways of evaporating gold and zinc chamber. One is the manual method by using the control button and the other one is the automated method. So to do the automated gold we need to activate the gold board first by pressing number one and then by pressing the automated button up in the corner here. And what you will see in the chamber is that the gold board slowly starts glowing um, and evaporating the gold piece inside. adjust the vacuum level in the chamber automatically. Once it's ready, 
then all we have to do is press the button on the pendant. Once we press it, the system automatically starts warming up the zinc board and evaporating the zinc. All we need to do now is just keep our eyes on our evidence in the chamber. And once we are happy with the development, we just need to press the button to stop more zinc to evaporate. is ready now so we can open the door and have a look on our sample. Okay, so just to uh, summarize, this handprint was developed with gold zinc vacuum metal deposition methods on uh, this satin fabric sample. And when it comes to latent fingerprint development, cost is very important. And the running cost of the VMD uh, is around $2 or £1.50 if you are in the UK. Uh, lastly, I would like to talk about our VMD application guide, which has been developed by forensic scientists at Best Technology. This is a guide basically to help our end users to choose the right VMD method for certain exhibit types. I'd just like to say thank you for your attention and see you in our next video.